Military news. Could Russia shoot down an F-22 stealth fighter over Syria? The Kremlin deploys advanced anti-aircraft missiles as tensions between Washington and Moscow. Flare, the Russian military is warning the United States that it has the ability to target stealth. Aircraft such as the F-22 Raptor, F-35 Joint Strike Fighter and B-2 Spirit that might be operating over Syria with the Almaz anti. S-400 and the recently arrived S-300 V-4 air and missile defense systems. However, Western defense officials and analysts are skeptical and note that both the F-22 and the F-35 were specifically designed to counter those Russian-developed weapons. Russian S-300, S-400 air defense systems deployed in Syria's Miami Montatus have combat ranges that may surprise any unidentified airborne targets. Russian Defense Ministry spokesman Marge Gen. Igor Konishenkov told the Russian state media outlet Sputnik. Operators of Russian air defense systems won't have time to identify the origin of air strikes. And the response will be immediate. Any illusions about invisible jets will inevitably be crushed by a disappointing reality. Quote, While Moscow makes bold claims about the counter-stealth capabilities of its S-400 and S-300 V-4 missiles, the fact remains that even if Russian low-frequency search and acquisition radars can detect and track tactical fighter-sized stealth aircraft such as the F-22 or F-35, fire control radars operating in sea, X and Ku bands cannot paint low observable jets except at very close ranges. Stealth is not and never has been invisibility. But it does offer greatly delayed detection so that a fighter a bomber and can engage a target and leave before the enemy has time to react. For sure, tactical fighter-sized stealth aircraft must be optimized to defeat higher frequency bands such the CX and Ku bands that's just a simple matter of physics. There is a step change in an L. O. Aircraft's signature once the frequency wavelength exceeds a certain threshold and causes a resonant effect. Typically, that resonance occurs when a feature on an aircraft such as a tail fin or similar is less than eight times the size of a particular frequency wavelength. As a result, fighter-sized stealth aircraft that do not have the size or weight allowances for two feet or more if radar absorbent material coatings on every surface are forced to make trades as to which frequency bands they are optimized for. In short, this means that radars operating at a lower frequency band, such as parts of the S or L band, are able to detect and track certain stealth aircraft. Ultimately, to counter lower frequency radars, a larger flying wing stealth aircraft design such as the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit or upcoming B-21 radar which lacks many of the features that cause a resonance effect is a necessity. But at the UHF and VHF band wavelengths, designers are not trying to make the aircraft invisible. Rather, engineers hope to create a radar cross-section that will blend in with the background noise. Inherent to low-frequency radars. Low-frequency radars can also cue fire control radars to a target. Additionally, some U.S. Adversaries have started developing targeting radars that operate at lower frequencies. But those lower frequency fire control radars exist only in theory and are a long way off from being fielded. Stealth is delayed detection and the delay is getting shorter. Surface-to-air missile radars are shifting the frequencies into lower frequency bands where you S. Stealth is less effective, quote, Mark Gammon, Boeing's F-A-180F and the A-18G program manager for advanced capabilities told me. Early warning radars are in the VHF spectrum where stealth has limited if any capability. These radars are networked into the SAM radars, giving the SAM radars queued search. Quote, however, low frequency radars do not themselves provide a weapons quality track that is needed to guide a missile onto a target. There are various proposed techniques to use low-frequency radars for such purposes. But none of those are likely to prove viable. U.S. Air Force Call Michael Bartru had described one possible way to accomplish such a feat in an article one wrote for Aviation Week and Space Technology a few years ago. But Air Force officials were dismissive of the technique. Just because something is technically possible doesn't make it tactically feasible. One Air Force official with extensive stealth aircraft experience explained. Meanwhile, 
Operational Raptor pilots tell me it would be really classified to discuss specific SAM counter tactics. However, the F-22 is more than capable of defeating any of the current Russian surface-to-air missile systems that are currently are projected to be fielded. Hopefully, we will not have to find out the how effective the Raptor truly is during a shooting war over Syria since conflicts can rapidly escalate out of control, as history loves to teach us over and over again. Thank you. 